Hi guys and welcome to my channel Eggs Cadbury. How are you all doing? Do let me know in the comment section below. So today in my video I am going to share the DIY tutorial of how to make kajal at home. How you can make your homemade kajal at home only using 3 ingredients. So let's get started. So for making your homemade uh, kajal you will be needing a wine, 2 steel glasses, mustard oil, 1 steel bowl in which the, your final product will be there that is the kajal, matchbox, cotton and a diya. So let's see how we can make our homemade kajal. To start with let us take some cotton and stretch it from all sides in order to make a wick of the lamp. Now take the ajwine and make a thick layer of it on the cotton roll and roll it up to make the wick of the lamp. Roll the cotton nicely and tightly so that the ajwine doesn't fall off it. in the lamp now we will take some mustard oil and pour it into the lamp you can also use clarified butter instead of mustard oil we will wait for few seconds so that the cotton soaks up the mustard oil and pour some more if required then we will dip the tip of the wick in mustard oil so that it becomes easy to burn. So we are all ready. Now to prepare the setup we will be placing the lamp on a flat surface and take the two steel glasses and put one at the right and the other at the left. The homemade kajals do smudge as they contain oil. So in order to create a nice cool eye look is to put on the kajal at night and wash face in the morning. This will leave a nice cool eye aligned eyes that look natural yet dramatic. Since the ingredients are all natural and actually good for eyes, you do not have to worry about leaving it overnight. Instead, the cooling properties will help cleanse your eyes. We will light the lamp with the help of a matchstick and put a steel bowl on top of the two glasses. So guys, this is how it literally burns at the end. I hope you can hear the popping sound. So here very soon we will be getting our end product that is our kajal. So ultimately our weight is over but don't touch the steel bowl immediately you will end up hurting your fingers. So be careful. Here we are left with ashes of cotton and ajwine, which you can throw it out. Ta-da! We have our end product here. I will just take a matchstick and scratch it out from the bowl on a clean white paper. Remember guys to switch off your fan before doing this otherwise you will be creating a mess all over. The next clip will be showing you that I don't want to waste my products. Once we are done with it, we will be storing the product in a clean dry bottle. So girls, try this once at home and do leave a comment in the comment section below. If this video is useful to you, then don't forget to leave your comments below. Like, share and subscribe. Until my next video, take care, love you, bye.